Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you an update on my Polyrachis Dives colony. So, they have been doing really well, but the twin Outworld setup isn't going to plan. Before we get into that, I'd like to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. So as I mentioned, it's not going to plan. Or it is, but the Outworld's sizes are more the issue. So basically, right now, the plan worked where they use one Outworld for their junk and the other Outworld for feeding. So one is perfectly clean, one is empty, full of junk so I can just clean it out easily. That part worked just fine. But as you can see, depending on what's going on, they are very cramped in the outworld that they don't use for junk, so their feeding outworld. So they need a bigger outworld. The nest still isn't full enough um, to give them a nest swap. So I just want to give them a bigger outworld and as you've seen from the previous video I've actually just took the Campanotus nicobarensis colony out of their already large outworld into like triple XL outworld so there is an outworld going spare so what I did is basically clean the outworld out uh, boiling water and the lot really uh, before I give outworlds to different colonies and then once I had managed to clean that all up and everything was nice and clean I just simply from that point hooked them up I used a bit of a uh, tubing one size that fit the test tube port on the ant space nest um, and then a smaller tube that went through the hole and they pushed into each other quite easily so this is what I've got as of today. Now, as you can see, by it not looking like there's as many ants outside, there is just the same amount. There's just a lot more room. Um, as you can see, when they spot you, <laughs> you can always tell by the antenna um, if they're looking at you or they've noticed the movement. It's always quite funny. So this is what I've come up with for them. It's a single outworld instead of a double outworld. I've took off the smaller piece of the nest because it was unused. And basically what I can do now is when this ant space runs out of room, I can expand it with extra modules, so just more nest modules, which is a much easier practice to do and then they can have this outworld and this will probably be their last non-naturalistic outworld uh, that they'll ever have by the time they're ready for a size up or even before they're ready for their size up they're actually going to be getting a special um, vertically based um, outworld specifically for polyrachus species so that is the end goal so it'll be very much not portrait it'll be a lands sorry it'll be very much not a landscape it's a portrait based design um and i'm hoping that that will be able to have full arboreal nesting going on um so that is the ultimate plan as i really do like this species well all the weaver ant species i've got to say i've got a soft spot for and um, just keeping them it's not it's not gone anything but stronger i really do like this these ants the entire genus to be honest i uh, really like it they are one of the most fun to watch they're interesting what they get up to they're not overly aggressive um if one gets out it generally does nothing but walk on you um they don't go for your hands or anything when you're in um it's really quite a pleasant ant to keep 
One of the best things that I must say by far. I love all ants, don't get me wrong, but one of the best things about these is every speck of dust they will pick up and put in a pile so they can keep a perfectly white floor white and they'll make one little dirty pile and it's not a sticky pile either, it's a loose pile and can easily be cleaned up and that is by far a nice thing to have because as the colony gets bigger the cleaning requirements get more and more and these ants are really good for show because they don't make a mess that's always good for showing so you see all this like debris around from when I tipped in the flies yeah they'll clean that up later it's like they come out with the, the mop and the bucket because that will be gone so as you've probably seen I have treat give them a little treat of fruit flies so I had a batch of fruit flies and a wild one must have got into it because these flightless fruit flies actually bred with a fly that had the ability so all the offspring has had full flight and it is an absolute nightmare so what I did was stun them with the freezer which is a thing that people do even with flightless and that way I can tip them in and the ants can collect them and everything without them flying off straight out of the thing around my house because that's happened before well that is that is the update of the plans there is a little bit of unfortunate news during a certain heat wave the thermostat and I, I don't know what was wrong with the thermostat it didn't turn off the heating and it actually got too hot in the outworld and we lost a few ants because of this now the thermostat seems to be working perfectly now but I can't trust it anymore so what I did is I just got rid of it and binned it so I'm not tempted to use it uh, later on so the thermostat's gone and I've replaced it with um, a basic thermostat from Swell Reptiles um, and this one is definitely working as I did um, keep an eye on it for a few days so we did have a small number drop off but I am happy to say that all the young, the brood, everything is perfectly fine, the queen is perfectly fine and there's still a lot of ants so you know mistakes or technical difficulties happen to anybody no matter the experience levels they do happen I've seen zoos lose entire leaf colonies leaf cutter colonies so it happens to us all at some point um, I'm just thankful that I caught it in time that I only lost like 10 ants but it could have been a lot worse and much longer and I could have lost the colony or if just the queen had gone that would have been game over so I'm grateful that it didn't progress that far but I thought I would mention um, what happened as to pull back the curtain on what happens behind the scenes yes uh, nobody is impervious to mistakes and losing ants but uh, thankfully it wasn't too bad so as I mentioned the ultimate goal is this outworld that I know is coming out soon and uh, I'll be getting them a tree or something like a dead tree or something giving them a naturalistic bottom even trying out spring tails for the cleanup crew and that is the approach I'm gonna be going with for these ants um, and I'm even looking into other species as well to have more than one weaver colony I must say my most favorite ants I've ever seen are the green tree ants but obviously they are a different cup of tea completely though maybe one day anyway guys that wraps up the video here hope you enjoyed the content and if you haven't already subscribe like and comment thanks a lot guys